<laughs> Following a stunning revelation by Bloomberg that the U.S. Department of Justice has opened an investigation into possible manipulation of gold and silver markets, the internet was abuzz with delight, particularly from precious metal advocates that have long claimed improprieties and bullion trading. Unfortunately, the attention is too centered on conspiratorial accusations rather than a clear, empirical view of the evidence. Utilizing our rigorous statistical methodologies, we have uncovered unusual variances that point towards manipulation. However, the manifestation of gold price fixing is what is perhaps most shocking. In this video, we will discuss three elements of gold and silver manipulation. Why manipulation is so difficult, if not impossible, to identify on a standard price chart, how manipulative trading can be exposed, and finally, what can be done about it. Collusion to rig the markets, especially in light of modern safeguards that both prevent and penalize such activities, must, by nature, be careful and deliberate. If such collusion were to manifest itself on a typical price chart, the jig would quickly be up, and few rational people would engage in behaviors that would have a near certainty chance of failure. The reason why collusion does occur, and why it probably occurs on a more frequent basis than we would care to admit, is that the evidence can be hidden because of the limitations of the Cartesian coordinate system, which tends to be monotonic under typical financial mechanisms. Much like a person singing random notes, it's impossible to determine dissonance without relativity. In the same manner, it is difficult to expose manipulation without some creative impetus. This is where we take a page out of Igor Stravinsky's ballet Petrushka, which according to composer Michael Miller, orchestrates a single melodic line as a duet between two different instruments, each playing the line as a fixed non-diatonic interval. The dissonance created by juxtaposing melodic sequences that are native to different musical keys can be duplicated in financial analytics by organizing raw market data into intervals and distilling them into probability matrices. The mathematical structure that develops from this arrangement necessarily exposes the psychological cadence or the expected returns or losses of the market. Any deviation outside of logical expected patterns can then be flagged for further inspection. This is where gold and silver manipulators have been caught red-handed. Under normal market conditions, such as the trading patterns established for the popular fund Market Vectors Gold Miners ETF, or ticker symbol GDX, we expect and find strong returns in bull markets and weak returns or losses in bear markets. Since 2012, as the bullion sector entered a pronounced bear cycle, the GDX absorbed losses in greater magnitude than the average losses incurred prior to 2012. However, this is not the case for the gold and silver ETFs GLD and SLV. Despite entering the aforementioned bear cycle post-2011, the expected rate of loss in the GLD and SLV are, on an absolute basis, only marginally higher than they were in the bull market years. This makes absolutely no sense because the interval of bearish trading activity was, on average, over 200% higher in the bear market years as opposed to the equivalent trading patterns within the bull market cycle. What this means is that gold and silver markets have been controlled to the downside logarithmically instead of on a Cartesian scale. It also means that the manipulation is more of a preventative measure as opposed to a deliberate smackdown as too many overt actions would begin to manifest itself through traditional Cartesian interpretations. The identification of statistical anomalies within the gold and silver market is only the beginning. Without inside access, financial models can only identify the results of market manipulation, not the specific perpetrators. Nevertheless, real harm has been established and this is the primary reason why the DOJ is looking into the matter. If you have traded the GLD or SLV or any metals-based funds, chances are you have been defrauded. The DOJ has an antitrust division and we encourage you to submit a complaint. 
Through public pressure, investigators will be incentivized to bring justice and transparency in the markets. Also, please share this video with friends and family. The issue is not just pertinent to gold and silver investors, but to all people who expect a free market establishment when they invest in publicly traded assets. Finally, please subscribe to the Bullish Money YouTube channel. Your support is greatly appreciated and will help us bring independent analysis to a broader audience. Thank you. Stop taking blind swings at the market and instead receive the best stock ideas with the highest probability of success. At Bullish Money, we want to put more cash in your stash using scientific algorithms. No opinions, no interpretations, no nonsense. Just straight facts. To get started today, subscribe to the Bullish Money YouTube channel and get actionable stock ideas right to your inbox.